Hello, I'm Kind on the Tech Pro, and today we are going to look at how to export Microsoft Excel table right into my SQL database in about 10 minutes or less. So just follow along in this tutorial, and it's going to be very easy. Please subscribe to my channel, click on the subscribe button down there so that you get updates when I make new videos on software development, database, programming and anything you, 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 you like. Maybe you can even leave a topic on the description box and the comment box below and I'll respond to you. Okay, let's get started. First I'm going to open my SQL so that we check what tables are in there. So if you have my SQL installed, just go to click on start and just type mysql and find out where you have the mysql command line okay so i've installed mysql and i configured it using a root password so i'm going to just say show databases sorry show databases so that gives us a list of the databases in the system so what we are going to do from Excel we are going to create a new database and then uh, transfer this Excel table into MySQL database so for now I'm going to minimize this and then from Excel we are going to create a new database is called a schema and then we create this table in Microsoft uh, in MySQL so what we are going to do now is to go to the ribbon and locate the data tab. Okay, the data tab, this is where you have the data tab. All right, right at the right extreme, you have my SQL for Excel. That is the tool we are going to use. This you can see in Excel 2010 upwards. I think it should also be in 2007 and 2003, but I'm not sure. Right, so go ahead to click MySQL for Excel, so it opens this panel where you have MySQL for Excel. So this panel will help us to create a database in MySQL and then export this table into MySQL. Right, so here you can see local instance, MySQL 5.7, you have remote connection, so we are not going to have anything to do with this place. So just go ahead to click new connection so it opens new connections tab so what we are going to do sorry the, you don't have to click new connection just click on the instance double click on it so this is what you have so enter your password for me i use the four letter passwords can I always click store securely so that i'll not have to enter it every time so okay so as you can see you have these two schemas additional schemas here from mysql you can see that is the same so the next thing we are going to do is to create a new schema okay so create a new schema let's call it uh, a new schema is the same as new database so let's call it tutorial db so collation, you can leave it at the default, server default, so just go ahead to click OK. So it tells us operation completed successfully. MySQL schema tutorial DB has been created. Press OK to continue, so we just do that. So now we have tutorial DB has been created. The next thing we are going to do is to select the table you want to export to MySQL. For me, is this table here. You can look at the description box, I'll put a link to this table. Or you can just explicitly tell me that you need this table, I'll send it directly to your email. Okay, so let's now click on next. So at this point, you now have to click export Excel data to new table. Make sure you select the data set don't select the whole excel sheet just select the particular data range you want to export so just click on export excel data to new table and then you wait for this dialog box to come up so the dialog box says export data sheet 1 and this is the range b2 h24 so 
The next thing we are going to do is to give it a name. So let's call it uh, members. Let's call it members. Or maybe I'll just call it TB French. That's the name of my table. Each time you want to name a table, try to prefix it with TBL for table. So now the first column here is my primary key. So so here it, it says pick a primary key. So I'll say use existing column. If you want it to add another column, that will be an auto number column. You can also click on add a primary key column here. Outside that, just say use existing column and select any column you want to use as a primary key. So, so you can go ahead to specify the data types for all of these, but I think it will be able to detect the data types at Vaca. So this is integer as you can see. So the next thing you are going to do is just click on exports. See either export data or create table. So just click on export data. Wait for some seconds and it tells us operation completed successfully. So click OK. Okay, so at this point we are sure that our data has been exported to MySQL. So let's go ahead to verify if this is true. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, so I'm trying to play my screen, but it's not working. So let's go ahead to now let's go ahead to show data basis. So now you have a new database tutorial DB. So let me say use tutorial DB. It can either be uppercase or lowercase, it doesn't matter. So it says database change. So the next thing you are going to do is to say show tables can see TBL friends that is a table from Microsoft Excel so we are going to look inside this table and see what is in there so this is the Excel version of this table now what we are going to do is write the select statement select star from TBL friends Okay, so as you can see, everything is there in MySQL. Now you may not like to be typing in command line, you may want to work on a window or on a GUI interface. That is also possible, so just go ahead to, to go, go to programs, just go to MySQL and then locate uh, MySQL query browser. So that is the tool you are actually going to use to visualize your data. So enter the password. For me, I have entered the password and then no. So default schema. Remember we created a schema called tutorial db. So db. Alright, so this is fine. So you can see from the right side you can see tutorial db and you can see a table there you can just right click on it and say um can just double click on it oh it writes a query for you and you can see this thunderbolt symbol here just click on it it runs the query and displays your data right there for me i like using either the command line or the gui all of them are the same but try to learn a bit of the command line because that makes you a programmer all right this is how we are going to end this class in the next class we are going to use this data in visual studio we are going to actually connect visual studio c sharp to this mysql table i'd like to thank you for viewing remember to subscribe click on the subscribe button down below and then we'll see you in the next class